So, T Fit here for one Fit Bully TV. Guys, like, subscribe, and share. We appreciate everybody watching. I'm here to help per usual. I keep getting this question on Instagram and TikTok. I figure, hey, let me address it one more time, or maybe a few more times, or however, more, however many more times I need to address it to make it clear. Someone said the other day, the message said, hey, um, is the Amstaff, is the Staffy a good dog? And I said, what are you asking me? Because that's not what they're asking, right? Some people don't know what they're asking, but they know what they're asking, but they don't know how to phrase it. You're really asking me, as I said, so you're asking, is it a dog that will sell? Yeah, like, is it popular? I said, a dog and your love for it is what makes it interesting. If you're looking for popularity and a breed that has a good price point, I know why everybody gets into the bully space. For one, because you're not going, if you, if you have some decent dogs, worst case scenario, you sell every dog for anywhere from two to $3,000. So, your baseline it's three racks. The challenge is the barrier to entry is you buying two dogs and assuming that if I paid $5,000 that you're going to get $5,000 if not more for the dogs. And it's just not that easy. So when you're starting a kennel, make sure I put this up here, kennel. When you're starting a kennel, you're, if you're asking yourself how much money you're going to make, you're going to run into some problems. And here's the number one problem. Let's say you're just doing it for the money, which it's fine, like that's your thing, do your thing. If you are doing it for the money, then you better be selling a Gucci bag, e Laurent, some, you, all the top brands, you gotta be selling, the dog has to be superb, the dog of dogs, to really hit that top tier price if you don't have any brand recognition and brand value in a dog that is a unicorn. So, if we're not gonna do it for the money, when you ask me, hey, how do I start my kennel? What should I start with? You should start with the love of a dog. Understand the breed and understand what that breed needs. And if it's about the money, you're going to lose twenty to thirty thousand dollars easy breeding. And if you do too much breeding, meaning like now you got twenty dogs, now you need facilities. The average facility, if you talk to Max Tran and many people, even my guy Chris Moore over there, he spent about fifty, forty-eight to fifty racks just laying concrete and stuff down for the bulldogs. This stuff isn't cheap, and guess what? You gotta feed them every day. You gotta clean up their poop every day. You gotta market and and tell people about. It. You gotta shoot, edit. You gotta teach. You gotta do so many things every day to ensure that you are successful when starting your kennel. So if it is your belief that you are going to get two dogs or a dog and become rich, especially because you believe the dogs are popular, it just doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. If you find a lane in the American Bully, if you find a lane in any breed and you live there and you're willing to die there, then you might find some success. To really be successful in anything business related, you've got to be a little obsessed. And in some cases, to be really, really successful, you've got to be a lot obsessed. And if you're following us, then you know that we are obsessed with our dogs, learning from our dogs, learning with our dogs, working with our dogs, teaching people about dogs. This is an educational-based business. I don't breed because I need everybody in the world to own my dogs. If anything, I hate the fact that I have to sell any of the dogs. And at some point, once we get to our fine-tuning our formula, we'll only put out maybe 20 dogs a year. Maybe 20 dogs a year. Because there'd be, for one, there's no rush now. We're not rushing now. If we gotta get, we gotta dot I's and cross T's. But starting your kennel, find a good female, produce your boy, build a line. If you've got a good boy, off your boy, and building a line means you're gonna better your boy. Learn as much as you can about coefficients, bloodline thing. That's a whole nother conversation. In our next video, we'll be talking about other things you can do to ensure that you are successful when starting. Uh, so that it doesn't finish too soon, okay? Stay tuned, and as always, take care of your dogs.